So check out that piece of marketing gold. Oh my goodness. Uh, the Bionic Minnow Super System, the only fishing system you will ever need. It works in any condition, in any situation. And I'm sure this thing will catch everything from a bluegill to a blue marlin. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about bill dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40-year-old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Welcome to Retro Bassin'. Hopefully everybody is having a great weekend out there in Retro Bassin' land. And hopefully everyone enjoyed the little sidetrack this channel took over the past couple weeks outlining my exploratory mission to the National Fish and Lure Collectors Club National Meeting in Springfield, Illinois. It is hard to believe we got so many episodes out of just two days and honestly like a day and a half at that event. Uh, but it was Definitely a blast to be there, meet a ton of collectors, and film those episodes. With every bit of footage that I watched in the editing process, though, I definitely saw a few lures that I wish had not gotten away. There's a meeting coming up in Pigeon Ford, Tennessee, later this January, as well as another one in Temple, Texas next spring, so I will definitely be on the lookout for the schedule for the NFLCC meetings, and the next time I am at one, I will let you guys know about it. Been looking to get on the water and fishing an old school again. Uh, unfortunately, the old front wheel drive sleigh is in the shop and won't be out for another week. As soon as it gets fixed, I will get back on the water. I literally have tackle boxes overflown with old school lures that I've not yet to throw and some episodes that I've been meaning to film. So hang in there, Bass and Buds. We'll be back on the water real soon. In the meantime, we're going to be in the studio today doing a little retro unboxing of some old school gold that Bass and Bud Patrick Molnar from Sonoma Valley, California sent our way. So thank you, buddy, for these couple of boxes that I cannot wait to open. I just have a little hint of what is in here, Bass and Buds, but trust me, you're not going to want to miss this one. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? I guess we'll start with box one of two, huh? <laughs> All right, well, this is a big box. Let's do the old uh, retro shake on this thing, see if anything rattles. Not too rattly. He didn't send me a box of rattle traps, I can tell you that much. <laughs> oh. So what do we have here? Wow. Actually, in a rare turn of events, I actually opened the box with the note first. Normally, I think I do like a 30-minute unboxing and then get to the note, so... This is great. I can start with a note for once. <laughs> hey Chris, hope this letter finds you and your family well. As I mentioned before in my message I sent you on Instagram, my wife and I are getting ready to move to Evergreen State of Washington. And thus it is time to do some purging. Much to my benefit. Have a couple of boxes of just a few surplus soft plastics I had laying around. And of course, the Bionic Minnow Kit. That I cannot wait to see. My pops pitched in with some older stuff as well. I am only 32. I miss a decade or so of really classic BAS era, but I remember fondly watching the Saturday morning fishing shows with the greats, Jimmy Houston, Roland, and of course, Mr. Dance. And seeing I pretty much lived to fish when I was younger, I was given the nickname Little Jimmy by my pops. It was practically a ritual for us. And every weekend during the spring and summer of my childhood, I watched the fishing shows on Saturday when my pops got her gear ready to hit the water on Sunday morning. And then back home Sunday afternoon just in time for NASCAR. And oh how I anticipated the Bass Pro Shops catalog that always rung in the holiday season for me. Anyway, I hope you can use these baits and lures and feel free to share with the rest of the community what you don't use for a giveaway. Ooh, that's a good idea. I uh, love the channel, especially the catalog flip throughs and the tackle shop tours. Uh, keep up the rad work. Take care and best to you and your family. 
May your lines always be tight and keep it retro. Sincerely, Patrick. Thank you, sir. All right, now that we've got the note out of the way, it is time to get to the good stuff. And, woo, <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Uh, I've got a package here I'm gonna put over to the side. Oh, wow. Yep, there is definitely some old school plastic in here. First things first, we've got a old school uh, Castaic soft plastic swim bait. Uh, this looks like a sunfish. Right out of the gates, man. This could be a good one. Let you guys check out the box first. Uh, the world's most realistic fishing lure. Oh man, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a California classic, but honestly, that thing could totally do some damage on some Texas lakes as well. Uh, this is a really cool bait. It's got, the front of this bait is hard, sort of like a crankbait, and then the tail is completely soft. So it is definitely, I guess, a swim bait crankbait. It's hard to say what category you'd put this thing in. As far as the weight goes, this thing feels like an ounce or so. Um, that is a awesome, awesome looking bait though, and yeah, that's gonna go right in the old box. Um, I don't know I'm gonna be able to throw that on one of my five foot six inch pistol grips, so I might have to break out some of my uh, new school, new school rods, which are at this point like really old school. So. First one out there, though, that's a that's a winner. Uh, another California classic, uh, the old Greg Stumps Robo Worm. Yeah, this is a finessey little worm, and look at that. That is uh, almost a uh, morning dawn color. That would totally work on Lake Travis, doing a little drop shotting. So yeah, that's gonna go in the old finesse box for sure. Uh, what is this? Uh, the right lure for bass, fish finder lures. Woo! I know this bait, I've never actually fished with it. This is a pre-rigged worm. I don't know if you can see, but it comes with two little pre-rigged hooks. I don't exactly know how to fish this. I don't know if you put this on a Carolina rig or fish it weightless or maybe even a split shot. That looks like a nice little finesse four inch worm though. Um, I'm probably gonna split shot that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Ah, uh, here's another fish finder. So now I can open one and not feel bad about it. Uh, that looks like the five inches. That one might be a little bit longer, but that's probably the one I'm gonna rip open and throw. So, interesting, it does come with two pre-rigged hooks. They're not weedless. So, some way or somehow, that thing is supposed to be fished and not grab a bunch of weeds. Um, I'm gonna have to research that one for sure. Oh, I see a classic brand that uh, I like. Uh, the old school culprit worm. We just did a pretty fun episode on the culprit sticky worm, but what's funny is I've never actually done one with the old original culprit. So here's a nice pack of seven and a half inches. Uh, that one would be a fun one to fish with. It looks like in a shad pattern. And I like the old school culprit logo as well. Uh, another pack of culprits. These look like um, some sort of creature bait, actually. I don't know what the name of that one is, but that's pretty cool. And another nice sort of morning dawn type color. Oh my gosh, like I am not even cracking the surface of this thing. Look how much old school plastic there was. Yeah, we are definitely gonna do a giveaway at the end of this video, that's for sure. Uh, we've got some more worms here, some little finesse curled tail worms. No idea what those are, but looks pretty sweet. Ooh, some hog collars. Looks like a, is that a seven inch? That's a seven inch. Sort of like a purple shad color. Nice. Uh, some more, uh, uh, these are not culprits, but it looks like some sort of grub in a culprit bag. Now these are culprits. My man Patrick was throwing some culprits back in the day, wasn't he? <laughs> uh, what do we have here? A flipper curl tail. That's an interesting looking color there. Sort of a root beer color you can see in the light. 
And looks like it's, yeah, it got just a little bit of a curl tail, probably more like a phenom style bait. <laughs> plastics, plastics, and more plastics. Uh, here's a pack of culprit shad tail grubs. Woo! That's a nice one. Uh, culprit classic. There's definitely the old uh, culprit worm. Yep. Looks like a maybe a tequila sunrise or red shad pattern there. Throw that guy off here. Oh, that's definitely red shad right there. Let's see the price on this guy. Uh, looks like this was from Sports Unlimited for $3.89. Not too bad. Ah, uh, too funny, we got some jaw techs in here. Just did an episode on the comeback of jaw tech lures and this is actually a pack of the new ones. So we will definitely add that to the giveaway pile at the end of the video, that's cool. Uh, yet more worms. I don't think these are culprits. I think those are Mr. Twister Phenoms in a culprit bag. Uh, I've got some Zoom Lizards. Nice little blue watermelon color. That's a cool one. I like that blue fleck in there. What do we have here? The old Don Eovino Tournament Quality. Looks like some sort of finesse drop shot bait there, huh? to check those out and they look salty. Got the old Bass Assassin, one of my favorite baits for salt water. I don't throw them a ton in fresh water, really for no good reason. Maybe I should, uh, especially when I get on a soft plastic jerk bait craze like I did last fall. Ooh, we got some zoom, uh, looks like a crawl of some sort in a natural color. And yeah, that's a, a good looking natural green. Look at that. Got some more Zoom Lizards, man. Patchy was also throwing some Zoom Lizards. You can pretty much tell his top two baits, huh? <laughs> Yet another pack of the Zoom Lizards. We'll definitely throw a few of these in the old giveaway bag. What do we have here? Uh, the Split Tail Trailer. You know, I don't throw a split tail trailer nearly as often as I used to, but there was a time that I would not throw a spinner bait without a white or chartreuse split tail trailer on it. Um, maybe I should start that again. Ooh, we got some Jean LaRue Salty Crawl. Looks like a big old one in a purple. That's pretty cool. I don't know what size that is. Is that the, uh, what's that say? It says four inch, but that, hey, maybe those are four inches, but they look pretty big to me. Uh, we've got some more zoom. It looks like the uh, little critter, natural green. So that's interesting. It's like a crawfish, but look, it's got like a little bit of a tail. I don't know how you're supposed to rig that. That's pretty wild. It like thins out right there. So that's very interesting. Hmm. Drop a comment if you know how to fish that bait. Uh, another pack of culprits uh, worms here. Looks like in a new color, grape and pearl tail. Not so new anymore, but I guess at one time that was a hot new color. <laughs> Ooh, and here's another one. Look at this. Uh, the original worm. Um, I don't know if that's in a tomato color or something pretty similar. Sort of like a tomato bubble gum hybrid. Well, I can see the bob in the box at least, or, or we're getting close. <laughs> Some more Zoom split double tails. Looks like more of a golden brim color. Nice. <laughs> more lizards. <laughs> I think I like doubled my lizard supply today, like literally. A uh, pack of Zoom Trick Worms. Uh, what is that, like a natural blue color? Yep, that is a natural blue color. Look at that. Oh, that's totally gonna get thrown in the lake this fall. Um, yep, that's a good looking bait. Uh, we've got some Flipper Curl Tail. Ooh, this might be one of my favorite ones of the bunch. Uh, that is a pretty cool translucent blue. Very old school looking. Looks like sort of a uh, knockoff version of a Mr. Twister Phenom. But that color, woo! Yeah, that one's gonna definitely get thrown. 
Ah, uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Ooh, old school Gil Raker lizards. Or it looks like a water dog. Look at that. That's pretty cool. That is not your standard lizard. That has got a water dog head and a couple of non-flapping arms. And last pack in the box. It's funny, we went through a lot of culprit bags filled with phenom worms. Well, finally there's some Mr. Twisters in the correct packaging. And a nice old school brown and orange. Yeah, buddy. That's a nice one. And we're only like halfway done. <laughs> well, before we crack open box number two, I do want to pause for a new segment we've been doing on the channel called the Bass and Bud of the Week. This week's winner of the Bass and Bud of the Week is a truly special one indeed. It is my own little Bass and Bud, Caroline, who is celebrating her 13th birthday this weekend. Well, Caroline is just about to be a teenager, but she definitely likes to fish it old school on the old retro wagon. And one of her favorite pastimes is trying to outfish her little brother, Waylon. She's also an expert at driving the boat and at her young age has caught a lunker or two. So to my little bass and bud of the week, happy 13th birthday. I've cut this box open. Now we're going to crack open box two of two of, uh, yep, some more old school plastic. Check that out. I'm going to put a box up here to try to streamline the lower opening process. Uh, let's go through some of these bad Oscars. So it looks like a whole bunch of Chompers skirted grubs. Uh, there's one in a nice chartreuse pepper. Ooh, a little black and blue. Here's one in a melon pepper. Smoked pepper. That's a little bigger uh, skirted grub, isn't it? That's a nice one. Nice, still uh, sealed, too. Uh, yep, the old chartreuse pepper, a little bigger model. Looks like that might be the four inch. Oh, five inch. Uh, another melon pepper. Skirted Grub City, let me tell you. Looks like a nice black and blue. Chartreuse pepper. I can't read that one, but it looks like a watermelon to me. A little black and blue action. Uh, black with blue flake. How about that? Let's see if we see any more choppers in here before we get into the other stuff. Uh, I think that might be it for the choppers. Uh, now we've got some Jean LaRue Salty Crawl. Looks like that's a little one, too. Look at that guy. Tiny, tiny little crawl. Ooh, Culprit June Bug. I don't think I've got any June Bugs. I don't think I've thrown a June Bug in a minute, either. Man, that's a good old color. Though. I remember there was a time when Jim Houston was throwing a worm. He's either throwing a motor oil worm or a, a June Bug worm. Uh, some more of those little crawls from Jean LaRue. I don't know how big those things are. That looks like a two-incher. Some more zooms. Uh, a little better than salt lizard in a lemon pumpkin. I don't think I've ever thrown a lemon pumpkin. That's an interesting color. Almost looks like a sand color. Looks like some uh, split double tails. Oh, some lizards. <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, looks like some sort of worm. I don't think it's a trick worm. Though. It looks like more like a finesse worm of some sort. What's it say? Swamp crawler. That's what that is. Ooh, look at that little tiny salty chunk. Little guy. 
And I've already filled up my box. <laughs> All right, so there's a little bigger version of the old Jean LaRue crawl. I don't even know what that little bitty thing is. Is that like a little crappie bait? Look at that. It's like a little Jean LaRue uh, curly tail grub. A little one-incher. Ah, oh, some power baits. I think these are the first power baits that I got in the pack. Some more chunks. <laughs> Patrick definitely cleaned out his garage, didn't he? Man. Ooh, is that purple or June bug? I think that might be purple. I also feel like I doubled my culprit uh, selection today. So this is interesting. So this is a worm. What is this? Is this the old better than salt finesse worm? But look at that color. That is a swampy, finessey looking little thing, isn't it? Ooh, I like that. I think I'm gonna be keeping that one. That's nice. It's like got like sort of a translucent like baby blue, a little moss back. Damn. Got some Rick Clun, very young Rick Clun, jig and spinnerbait trailers. And some Mr. Twister grubs. I think. I think those are grubs. Virginia Guide Bait Company. Don't know that one. Uh, looks like a curly tail lizard and sort of a, I don't know what that is, orange pumpkin color. Looks like some Zoom curly tails, sort of a break from the normal Zooms we've been getting. There's another one of those critters. Another Don Iovino uh, salt finesse bait. Two of those. So what do we have? The old four inch double ringer uh -huh. from Zoom. Swamp crawler. Why do I feel like this is gonna like come crashing down on me at any minute? This looks like a big old worm. What is this thing? Eight inch magnum lizard. Huh. That might be worth keeping and throwing. Look how big that sucker is, man. Never actually seen that one. A uh, little zoom six inch lizard. And the standard lizard. Ah, there we go, the old bass assassin. Okay, so back in the day when I was um, chasing striped bass in the Severn River, this was like my number one bait. I would fish this thing on a 3 8 ounce jig head, just toss it around some brake lines and points, and oh man, we used to catch a rockfish or two on this exact bait. Oh, here's something new. Venom Lures. Ooh. Looks like an old bubblegum uh, curly tail worm. Yeah, I always like the bubblegum color. Threw it more in a soft plastic jerk bait a la Sluggo than I do in a worm, but I would throw that. And what else do we have as we get to the bottom here? Oh, interesting. The jerk rat. Um, I know that the top water bite has been on in Texas. And man, I've been trying to figure out some of the different baits that I could throw this time of year. Uh, the old jerk rat looks like it's a three pack with a hook. Uh, that one's going to go off to the side and probably get used sooner than later. And to wrap up this box, a, another jerk rat. This one in looks like a black, uh, or is that black and blue or purple color? Nice. Those are totally going to get thrown, like ASAP. And what are the odds I can get this back in here without like making a mess? It's doing pretty good. I did realize uh, after all that, I forgot to open the one thing that I knew was coming 
which was the pack of as seen on TV bionic minnows. So check out that piece of marketing gold. Oh my goodness. Uh, the bionic minnow super system, the only fishing system you will ever need. It works in any condition, in any situation. And I'm sure this thing will catch everything from a bluegill to a blue marlin. Uh, the bionic minnow top water and diver head will change the way that you fish soft plastics. It says over 300 fish caught on camera with the bionic minnow. Oh man, I don't think I've caught that many on the old retro bass and channel uh, <laughs> ever since we started. So it's got two different heads. It looks like it comes with one, which is the bionic diving spiral grip head and the other, which is the bionic top water head made of space age dura foam man just so many features and benefits to this and it is the only system you will ever need and just look at the photo collage of all the fish that you can catch if you just purchase the bionic minnow <laughs> oh man so let's see crack this thing open and see how accessible this package is oh wow so this thing is totally new uh, sealed in the package. Look at that. Um, we'll see what we can find out about the different baits that might be in here. So it looks like it comes with a couple different parts, two different heads. It comes with a, a minnow body, sort of looks like a banjo minnow a little bit, doesn't it? I see a frog body, and that looks like sort of a grub body. I think that I'm going to leave this Bionic Minnow kit sealed for now. Uh, but I could be convinced to pack it on my next trip to Florida for my Bass and Buds, John and Lindia, over at Small Water Charters. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Could that catch a Donkey Land Bass? You let me know. Well, Patrick, thank you for hooking me up, bud. Um, definitely, I will have to get your updated address uh, to get you a little retro bass and care package. Thank you for all of this awesome old school plastic gold. But yeah, I think it is only right we do a little Bass and Bud giveaway on this one. So, and probably do a few of them. Go ahead, guys, and drop a comment down below in the comment section. Uh, in addition to entering you for the little giveaway, it's actually a great way to support the channel. And that, along with likes and subscriptions, really help get the word out on Retro Bassin. In the next week or so, I will use a random comment selector on camera to select a handful of winners and I will be sending some of this old school plastic their way. If you're looking for more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, tune in next Saturday. And until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.